What a beautiful wintry day. What should I make for Jess's birthday? I think chicken palm tonight. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Here with a few of my co-hosts, Veda and Nate. We're gonna make Jess's favorite. Let's head out to the kitchen and take a look. So we got our good music playing. We're gonna be doing a chicken parm tonight, a uh, nice Irish recipe. So we do a regular egg dredge station, which is this. We have flour, eggs, Italian breadcrumbs. I've already done these cutlets over here. And I've pre-seasoned my chicken. You wanna do, what I like to do is salt, pepper, cayenne, little garlic powder, and uh, that's, that'll about do it. You wanna let that set in for a little bit before you go into your egg dredge station. Then we're gonna go nice healthy portion, amount, whatever you wanna call it, of flour. Make sure your entire chicken is coated. Really get in all those nooks and crannies. It's a bitch to clean up. Oh, shouldn't have said that. Shake it off right into the eggs. Pat it down, you wanna pat your chicken. Very important when you're doing this, you can either buy chicken cutlets or you have to cut them nice and thin. Get them nice and thin and then you have to pound your chicken. You have to pound it. Pounding the chicken is what's gonna make it very tender and it's gonna make it easy to cook. Right into the breadcrumbs, pat it down. Again, Italian breadcrumbs, not the panko. Not the panko. Get this tossed and coated nice. You can do this twice if you want. I find if you're gonna be doing fried chicken, you wanna do it twice. Usually once is suffice. Nice even coating on there. You should almost be like flimsy. That's how you want your chicken cutlet. Right on there. That's gonna go into the um, refrigerator for, I don't know, you could do it for an hour or two. I like to do it nice and early, get it out of the way. Let it really set in the flavor. Let the, let the flavor set in. And then you can set it in the oven and uh, have yourself a nice dish. We'll see you in a little bit uh, later on tonight for the rest of the episode. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Let me get this spoon out of my homemade sauce. We're almost ready to go. The best part of this dish is all the prep work's done before. So when you're ready to dive in when wifey is coming home for her birthday dinner, you'll be ready to go. It'll be simple, it won't be stressing. Let me see what I got, what I'm working with here. Right here, I got my homemade sauce, as you can see in my homemade bottle. All ready to go, bubbling up. Get that moving on a nice low boil. Over here, we have Signature Select canola oil. You wanna get that fired up pretty hot. You'll be able to hear it start popping when it's ready to go. You can also take a few of these little drops off of your chicken and you drop it in. Once you see it start bubbling up, that's when you know it's ready to go. Water ready for our homemade pasta. We have homemade, I mean, yeah, homemade pasta. I just hand stretched that today. Come back and see us when we're uh, about to plop these into the oven. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Come on over to the kitchen. We're just setting up our finishing touches here. We have all the chicken made. Now this chicken's gonna plop right into that canola oil for no longer than two minutes. A uh, minute on each side. You just want a nice brownish color to it. From there, of course, we have our homemade sauce straight from Ireland. We have, a, let's see, it's a blend of cheeses. We have Parmesan, we have mozzarella, and then I like to top it off with a little grated Parmesan. Gives a little bang, a little taste of your childhood. We have our oven preheating at 425. So from here, we're gonna go with, our, again, our homemade sauce. Top it on there. You don't wanna overdo it because you want the chicken to really be the, let me turn off that oil before I burn myself. You wanna really want the chicken to be the main event of the dinner. You don't want anything else to shine through. The chicken is just, Number one, uh, number one item is the cheese. Right on top of here, this is our homemade blend of cheese. Again, everything we do here is homemade. Right in that oven for 425. We have eight million kids, so that's why we have eight million chickens. And 
That's that. We'll come back in about 20 minutes to see the final product. Come here. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Thanks for coming back to the kitchen for the final step of our uh, working dad extraordinaire. I'm drinking a delicious polar seltzer. <sighs> delicious. Let's go look at the final product. So we already have the other ones out of the oven. This right here is the creme de la creme. This is what the birthday girl will have. That nice piece on the end there. Looking as scrumptious as always with our proprietary blend of cheeses. Again, for those other people out there that didn't hear, it's homemade mozzarella provolone. Uh, what else we got? Regular shredded mozzarella and a homemade grated Parmesan cheese. Just like the kind you grew up on, only better. I make this stuff all by myself in between working 60 hours a week and being the best father and husband around. So step up your game. So again, there's our chicken palm. We're gonna grab this piece right here cause it looks nice and mm, meaty. Mmm. So with this, like I said, you put it in that oil for about two minutes. All that's gonna do is give you the browning and stop the cooking process. The real magic happens in the oven at 425 for about 18 to 20 minutes, depending on how fat your turkey is. Like I said before, you wanna get it nice and squished down, push down. That way it reduces the cooking time. Comes out looking beautiful like this. Some people prefer spaghetti. I prefer whatever kind this is, ziti or rigatti or whatever, adi or something adi. Right on there. Bring it on over to the homemade sauce. And voila, dinner is served. Oh, hi, she's home. The birthday girl is home. Just in time for her birthday dinner. Anyways, everybody out there, have a great day. I want to wish a quick and speedy recovery to my union president, John Corey, going home today from the hospital. John, you make us so proud each and every day. Keep it going. Everyone out there in Facebook land, YouTube land, have a great day. Take care. Till next time on The Working Day.